Alright, I'm Spill here with another flashback review. This time we're looking at the Stunicons and Metasaur. Stay tuned. Alright, I'm Spill here. And today we're going to do another flashback review. This time the G1 Stunticons. We have, from left to right, we've got Dragstrip. A Tyrell P34 six-wheeled race car. Then we've got Breakdown, the Lamborghini. And then we've got the Motormaster Leader, which is a Kenworth K100 Aerodyne Sleeper Truck. <clears throat> Next is Wild Rider, which is a Ferrari 308 GTB. And last, we've got Dead End, which is a Porsche 928. <clears throat> now, these were considered what a Scrambler City. Um... Scrambler City combiner, which meant that the leader is a big robot, and then you got four smaller ones, and these are all interchangeable, which meant that you could switch the arms and the legs around. Now, scale-wise, this did not go real great back then, just because Transformers, most of them only had one, um, one toy. So as you can see, Motormaster should be a lot bigger than the cars themselves. But we'll get into that later. <clears throat> We're going to look at Dragstrip first. All right, this is Dragstrip. He's a cool yellow car. He has the rub shield where you rub it, and it is a Decepticon symbol. He's got the six wheels, and they all move freely. You've got the engine, let's see, he's got the big wheel on the back, the four small wheels, he's got the silver engine right there, he's got a spoiler, and uh, um, on the bottom, it doesn't look like much, and he rolls pretty good, <clears throat> and that is drag strip. Now, to transform drag strip, very easy, you take the engine, and you flip it up, pull the legs down, this one, the top of the car, you just pull over. And there you have drag strip. Uh, no feet, and then the spoiler will move up for feet. Um, you can't break the legs apart. No articulation at all. The arms just go up like that. No head movement. No articulation. No nothing. And that's how they were. Oh, and let me show you. Now, they all came with their individual guns, which over the years I've lost. But I do have all of their guns. Now, they came with guns like these. What you want to do is you put them in the little port on the end. And each Stunticon had its own weapon, which was pretty cool. And there is the weapon he had. And I like it. And it was uh, purple. So that is drag strip. Now, let's put this guy back here. <clears throat> If he still stands. Now the next one we want to look at. We're going to look at Breakdown. The Lamborghini. Now this was one of my favorite. Now it's interesting to note. That even though. There are four cars. Him and Breakdown transform the same. And Wild Rider. And Drag Strip transform the same. But back to Breakdown. So we'll take a quick look at him. He's got the black windshield. He's got his rub symbol. Like I was got three different windows on the side. He's got a little design right there. He's white and blue. He's got a cool spoiler. He's got, you know, a little detail on back here. And he's got four wheels, which roll pretty good. <clears throat> now, I'm not really sure if this is his, but we'll come back here with a blue gun. I think this is his because it's all blue. And that is Breakdown with his weapon. Now, to transform this guy, basically, you take the top and you just flip it around. And the legs, you rotate around, rotate around. Um, let's see. I thought he... No, you just rotate the legs around, put the arms up, and there you have Breakdown. Now, get a little close real quick. He's got the red face. Now, all their heads are the same square. That's how you combine them into the uh, into the leader class. And uh, let's see, he's got his legs. I mean, his legs are separate, but you can't move them because they're they're stuck. 
Again, the only articulation you have was the arms, and that is breakdown. <clears throat> and we'll stick him over here. And before we get to Motormaster, we're going to do Wild Rider. And now his sticker is a little fading, but these are my originals. <clears throat> so they got some sticker wear. And let's see, he's got a red windshield, red windows. There's your rub sticker. He's mostly gray. Actually, he's all gray. And there's another Decepticon. Sim uh, and all four wheels work, so he rolls pretty good. Let's see, now I've only got two left. So we'll just say this is his. And that is Wild Rider. <clears throat> now, he transforms a little different. What you want to do is take this, and it just, instead of flipping it over, it just pulls up and folds down. And the legs, you just pull out. So he's almost like drag strip. And again, we'll take a look at him. The face is very not cartoon accurate. He's got a lot of stickers. Again, the feet are stuck together. The only articulation you have is the arms. And there he is from the back. And that is Wild Rider. And we got Dead End next. And he's uh, red. Yeah, he's, he's red. More like a, a dark maroon. You really can't tell on the camera. But there's his rub sticker there. He's got a Septicon symbol there. He's got <clears throat> black for the windshield. He's got Now this guy's got a whole windows in the back, windows on the side. He's got windows everywhere. And he does pretty good. And we'll bring out our final um, weapon. And that is, I'm actually surprised I've got all these weapons. And these are these weapons. And to transform him, he's like breakdown where you take the hood of the car and you rotate it over and then you rotate the feet. Now him, he's got a stretch. So him, you just want to condense without breaking them. And again, uh, articulation, just the arms and that's about it. <clears throat> now we've got Motormaster <clears throat> and Motor Master is weird because, you know, this is supposed to be Optimus Prime. So, in reality, if you want to scale this versus Prime, he's got to be towering over Prime. But, that's not what he did. He combines with this truck. Let's you got the two front wheels move, the two back wheels move. And these wheels are fake. They don't move at all. And, and um, also, they, these guys are triple changers. Each of these guys transformed into a mini base or repair station. So he's got purple and white stripes down there. There's a Decepticon symbol. I wish kind of they could have done the hubcap a little differently. And that is Motormaster. Now to transform him, <clears throat> you want to take the arms. There we go. And just these fold no not like that oh, why doesn't this fold out they're supposed to just fold right here this guy's kind of tight there you go Whew. these things are tight yeah they are and you're just gonna rotate this part Let's see if I can do it without breaking there we go Whew. And then this you'd pop up like that and it's got two tabs snap into there then you take this and you pull them out separate the feet and these you want to move back like that so that's how it is and so that is how you had the menasaur feet or the uh, the cab as his feet and that is motormaster now, as you can tell, scale-wise, <clears throat> they're not scale-wise at all. In the comics, they were pretty much the same size. But that is it for scale-wise. Now, I thought I'd bring in a couple other figures so you could see kind of what we dealt with in the 80s. Like I said, you only had one figure. That's it. So...
Here's Optimus Prime. Now compare this rig to that. So you figure how do they compare. But there's Prime. Here's going to be a little Bumblebee gold bug. So he's not too bad. <clears throat> and then you got some outrageous thing like Blaster. Which towers over them. You know, which was kind of weird. But like I said, scale wasn't a thing back then. And that is it for our Stunticons. Alright, next stop we're going to do... Let's compare them with their new counterparts. The um, combined... Actually, we're going to combine into Menasaur. Now, to combine this to Menasaur, you needed two feet. And I am missing some of the parts, so I had to steal from others. Two arms, or two hands, a feet, it had a sword. You had this little roller car, which was pretty cool. He becomes Menasaur's chest. And you had Menasaur's head. Now actually, let me show you Menasaur's or Motormaster's other mode. Like I said, they were all triple changers, so this one was a repair bay. And this is how you do this guy. <clears throat> and this was his repair bay. You can easily add a car. Uh, we'll just say drag strip. And we'll just roll it on up. There. And we'll just, here. And we'll just fix. I don't know if you can put them like that or like that. Probably like that. That looks good. And that is the repair bay version. Or uh, let's see, to get this guy back. Which was pretty cool. I mean, for considering what the toys were back then, I'm amazed they even have a triple mode. Now let's get this guy back. And now. Back to Menasaur. Now the only piece I don't have is a little crotch plate that goes over there, which I am missing. So to form Menasaur, we're gonna take the two cars, we're gonna take breakdown, and we're just gonna keep them in robot. We're gonna put them in car mode. Let's see, these four guys just stay in car mode, basically. It's easier to go. And then let's see, you wanna line that up and we'll give him there's a, a slot there so the purple belongs to him <coughs> and we'll do wild rider as the other leg I said these figures are very very old there we go and so those are our two legs and then the two arms basically you take the the port and you pull it down and then there's a port right there and that's how you do with the arms again you want to transform these guys work real easy there we'll just pull that extend that and do that now <clears throat> this is motor master is a little different you want to go him in uh, robot mode. So basically all you do is you you rotate these sideways at a 90 degrees and you change them like that and then these it'll just pull these back here these will clip in like that and then you've got two ports here and this is a little roller you put that there and then Menasaur's face you just stick over Motormaster's face and then what you do is you got these four ports there and there so very carefully you want to put these in when I originally got my aerial bot set I got them as a as a the whole gift set and one of the heads was stuck in Silverbolt's leg because they, they transform very similar and we got dead end put like that and then we've got Drag strip. And there is Metasaur. Now, for articulation, the arms do 360, 360. 
Um, these only fold up. You really can't do nothing else. And that was it. He came with a gun and a sword. And that was Menasaur. Now, <clears throat> Menasaur was Superion's counterpart. So we're going to bring in Superion. Now, look at the size difference. Menasaur is definitely shorter, way shorter than Superion. But his legs were, you have that one little piece to cover this up. And on Superion, you don't. So Superion was, to me, Superion is the better figure. I like our characters, but the better figure is Menasaur. He's nice and tight. Well, Superion's all over the place. But I still like Superion. He's my favorite guy. And that is Menasaur. And we'll just rotate him around the back. This piece keeps falling off. <clears throat> And there you have, so it looks pretty funny from the back. Now in the cartoon, he didn't have, his head was like on top of here, which I don't know why they did it here, and he had no roller car. So, but that is Menasaur. And uh, that is part one of this review. Now, actually to finish this off, we're going to compare scale. There you got Blaster. Blaster and Menasaur. Did they do that on the... No, on the cartoon, Blaster was probably like that big. You got Optimus Prime. There you go. Again, not that much bigger. This, yeah, I could see. Maybe. And I think now we'll, um, we will do this in two parts. And in my second part... I will compare the G1 Menasaur with the Combiner Wars Menasaur. So stay tuned for part two. As always, like, share, subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, and um, visit Big Bad Toy Store. You may not find this guy at Big Bad Toy Store, but you'll find other Transformers there. All right, and uh, Me Megatron says Optimus Prime. My cars have a secret that'll tear your planes right from the sky. Stunticons, unite and form Menasaur. Stay tuned for part two.